Welcome to episode 33. I am Arumba. Thank you for tuning in. Where we left off last, we had just done a lot of conquesting, conquered most of Sweden in one fell swoop in just a few short years. And um, now we're dealing with this rebelling person because we've got negative money. And we've still got to deal with him. But yes, before we begin the, the game, I want to talk about some of the things I mentioned. I mentioned how um, I was going to explain kind of why I, I liked to give away land like we did. So there's a few reasons for it. One, by decentralizing the power in your realm, um, you make your realm tree look like this. Everyone that's below you is going to have very little power relative to you. If you can keep people below 20% of your strength, you'll never really have to deal with powerful rebellions. This is actually higher than I'd like. Um, it's showing us at a very low number, as because you know I, I'm, a, I'm a mayor, I don't really have a lot of army. But when you play as a king, oftentimes you'll have most of your people with less than 10% of your strength. So that's one good reason to do it. But here's the more important thing. We've just conquered a lot of land. Unfortunately, all of this land is Catholic. When we look at the religion screen, we can see that dashed line. This land is it's Catholic. The rulers are all... Uh, since I created them or placed them, they're all lollard. So they're in the process now of converting this territory. The stewardship trait of the characters that we've placed here is the, most, the single most important determining factor in making that conversion happen, right? Now, the land is already Swedish, so I'm not really worried about the culture. I just want to convert the religion. I want to get rid of that religious penalty. If we can convert the, religious, the religion of the territory this recently conquered by a different religious group penalty, which is the one that lasts 30 years. You can see here it expires 5th of December, 1144, which is about 33, uh, 28 years from now. That penalty goes away. So we want to convert the land. Now, by giving out high stewardship characters, we help, um, help to increase the conversion ratio. But also, and this is the most important part, Every single independent ruler has their own council, right? We have a council. I'm going to take my guy, and I'm going to send him over here to convert, say, let's see, which one of these counties had the most cities? This one just had one city, one city, one city. Okay, which one was the most upgraded? It's hard, kind of hard to see. Base 23, base 23 base 30. Look at that base. It's huge. So that county, for instance, I want that county making money again. Right now it's making nothing because we just conquered it. So I'm going to send my council to convert populace there. It's part of my realm, so I'm allowed to do that. But keep in mind, this guy, I just made a count. A count that has his own council. So what do you think he's likely to do if you were the guy holding a single county you had no income whatsoever because of all these religious penalties. What do you think you might do with your advisors? Well, he's going to be trying to convert the populace too. And every single county that I've conquered is a single county person. So what I'm doing is I've maximized the likelihood of each county converting every year because we've got at least one, if not multiple, chancellor, uh, court chaplains trying to convert these provinces. This, the, the, when I first learned this strategy, it was when I was playing as a Muslim and I, I basically conquered all of Europe, and I realized that when you just give away huge swaths of land, like the, the, simple, the easiest way to deal with land is like, okay, I'm just going to create the duchy and then I'll give the duchy away, and I'll let them deal with it. But then they'll keep all the land for themselves, and then for a four-county area, they only have one set of, of uh, advisors. So this method works much better if the land is not yet converted. After it's converted, yes, you might want to centralize the power just a little bit, but um, that's, that's why we done did what we did and stuff. All right, good. So hopefully that made sense. Moving on. Got a war to win. Do you have enough money yet? How much money do you have? He doesn't make any money. He's never going to get enough money. Darn it. That's a feature I, I wish that they'd add the ability to negotiate, like on a sliding scale or something. Like, he doesn't have enough money to ransom, but I'd take 110 gold, sure. Just give me just give me 110. Give me 105. Whatever, just give me what you got. I want it. But no, he doesn't have enough money, so we just, just can't do it, period. 
What do you want? Declining would cost 100 prestige. So Russia, I thought you were going to lose your land. How come you didn't lose? Are you actually winning? You can't be. 11%, 0%. All right, whatever, we accept. I'm not actually going to help you, but I could have sworn he would have lost a while ago. So what are we going to need to beat this 4,600 men? The advantage we have is that it's a single company, so he's only going to have one flank. So we'll get huge bonuses since we're attacking from three flanks. So we're probably better off with two smaller groups versus hiring one larger group. And I think we've got enough money now probably to do it. Yeah, let's do it. Um, no, we're going to wait just a little tiny bit longer. Got another grandson. Not a genius. Throw him off the, <laughs> throw him off the cliff. <laughs> Not a genius. He doesn't belong. All right, this this war needs to end. Okay, we'll hire you and you and yeah, we can afford to do that too. We'll raise our levy. I can just press Z to get the troops from there. B C on the boat. Yeah, fifty six hundred to his forty six hundred. This is a I, I don't know. Hmm, how much more can we get? There's a little bit more. Let's let's go ahead and we'll get them too. On the boats. Get on the boats. Everyone go there. I always cut things so darn close. Eventually I should learn from my mistakes. Oh damn it, amphibious landing penalty. Oh god, and I didn't get them enough morale. What am I doing? Gosh. I'm being retarded. Oh, that's so painful. I'm impatient. We got totally, totally slaughtered. Ugh. And yet we're gaining more intrigue, so that's good. <laughs> Darn it! I think we're probably still gaining money each month, even with all those mercenaries. So, okay, this time we'll get some, we'll get some morale, and then we'll go attack. We don't have quite the ratio that we had before, but we should still be okay. Should be good now. By the time we get there, we'll be at 100. We don't have the amphibious landing penalty as well. We do have a river crossing penalty. But yes, so we've got three flanks. If we can get to the melee phase. Gosh, he's strong. Drat. Crushing us. Not a son, not a genius. Damn it. Just go away. Get off my land. Hey, this guy's doing better. Our son! Our genius! What are you doing? Get out of there! Why are you at war? That's not smart at all. Darn it. Mm. How many mercenaries must we hire? He's converted a subject. What was that? I just missed that one. Shoot. Yep. Okay. So he just converted this county. That was just a lucky guess. I thought that it looked. It, I thought it looked like the county conversion. So we just conquered this. But look, the religious penalty is gone because it's it's no longer a heretic. Now we're still going to have a different culture penalty because apparently these people were Danish, not Swedish. But. Um, that's okay. I mean, now, instead of a 30-year period where the, the land is useless, um, the way it works, there's three penalties. You get one that's just recently conquered, which is only five years, but it's a very significant penalty. You get the culture conversion, which lasts 10 years, um, and then the religious one, which is 30. So religion is the one you really want to deal with quickly. But, um, yeah, so he's converted that, so we'll move our chaplain. Let's go to the next one over. I like to favor the coastal provinces when playing as a republic. And what can we do? What can we do? We need to get rid of these damn mercenaries. Get them off of our backs. What's your problem? Let's 
Stop following us around, you jerk. Yes, yes, this is another Intrigue event since we're trying to improve Intrigue. I'm frustrated. Get off my land. And this war score is really, uh... It does not look very good. He's doing pretty well. We're going to need a lot more men, I think, to beat him. Let's hire one of the big ones. We'll get one of these big ones with a bunch of good traits to just come in and smash him. Jerk. Surprised he's not dead yet. That's twice now you've raised taxes. Okay, 375, 375, 360, we'll take that one. Can you see how, I mean, gosh, it's just so important that you have that uh, key bindings. I mean, I just I just did a lot of raising and stuff of men very quickly. We need to get rid of a few men. How about this group could stand down? Get on the boats. All right, nine thousand versus four thousand. If we don't win, and I'm going to make sure I get enough morale. I'm not going to forget this time. No, he needs more. No, don't be cynical. Cynical's bad. Alright, full morale. Die! Go away. Converted a subject. That's good. All the courtiers that were in the land. Damn river crossing. You better not lose. This guy's got to win. Beat him. Beat him. Beat him. God, look at this. Ugh, what are your traits? What are you doing? God damn. He's got this, like, invincible army. Ugh. When there's a problem, just throw more money at it. And we're still gaining money each month, despite all that. I think I've just got to stop doing this dumb... There we go. So, my Grand Mayor, um, I'm pleased to report that the majority of the population of Sodermanland has been converted. Um, so we don't gain any piety, which is a great way to, to, to indicate that we didn't cause the conversion. So this guy, the court chaplain of Sodermanland, um, perfect example. So this guy, remember I gave the county away. So our son's court chaplain has converted this county. You can still see the religious penalties, um, but in a moment when we reload it and the first day of the month comes, damn, they have another holy order. Um, so now those penalties will be gone. So now all of a sudden, Sodermanland, we just conquered it like a couple years ago, is now a fully functional county, which is awesome. Especially because it's the one we gave to our son. All right.
What is this count trying to do? He wants to... What did he do? Since we have evidence that he's the leader of a plot, he wants to kill somebody. Whatever, I don't really care. Oh god, I'm so impatient, I just want to attack again. And yet, we've got this damn river crossing between here and Sodermanland. Is there no way to get there safely? How about from here? Straight across Vatern. A straight is going to give a penalty as well. What if we come from Schmaland? No, there's another river. There's just no way to get there without crossing a river. What if we do this? Raise the boats. I think if we land our men in this port, since we still have a couple of these held, that we should be... Yes. So since I can click on it, I know that I'm going to land in there, and I think we can land there without any penalties. Damn it! Never mind. Somehow we're still getting the river crossing penalty. 8,000 to 3,400. You better win. Just kick his ass. Come on. Okay, so now here's a perfect example. My liege, I am pleased to report the success of my mission to Skane. The majority of the population have been converted. Since I gained piety, I know that my court chaplain is the one that did it. Whenever you see that, make sure that you move him. So now this one has been converted and will convert in just a couple of days. So let's make sure to move him over to the next one. Now win this. Win, just kill him. Beat him. Yes, yes, whatever. How can you lose? There we go. Kick his ass. Good. Run away. Ugh. God, that was frustrating. Hunt him. Chase him down. This is why you don't want to go negative. Okay, so after this, we're going to enter a period of stability. We're not going to go to war for a while. Maybe. Probably. Because I don't want to continue to do this same... I mean, it's... it's we need to... Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Army's away. Good. Done. No more armies. I didn't forget anything, I think. Just double check, make sure everything's down. Good, good, good. Okay. Whew. All right get things in order and then we will probably have to wrap this one up we've got a granddaughter she can be educated by you sure whatever now yes so why can we imprison you what is your plot I don't see your plot what do you want to do if I wanted to improve the arrest chance I could put my, my marshal there I really don't care. We're just, it's fine. And we can create all these duchies to get some more prestige. Let's do that. Let's create a couple of them. Actually, no, I'm not going to create them until after everything is converted in that county because um, that gives them, it just continues to give them the best chance to convert. But, um, some weak claims. No, we're not going to do that. Let's just try to murder that guy. And I want to get back to spending money on upgrading castles and things. Stegeborg. Oh, apparently we have a castle. I don't want a castle. I want cities. Okay, how's the succession? Expected heir is Forza. Not for long. And apparently that guy that we just gave the land to died. <laughs> just give it to another random person. This guy apparently was, was spawned with the great pox. 24-year-old died.
Speaking of spawning, I'm getting pretty excited. Um, today is like the, it's like two days before the Heart of the Swarm release for StarCraft II. I'm going to probably do a little bit of uh, playing of that game as well. I love the campaigns in those types of games. I think they're a lot of fun. The upgrading systems and the, it's kind of like role playing. I am pretty darn good at StarCraft as well. So we'll see. I'm also very confident and I have no sense of modesty. That's not true. I have some. What are you doing? Denmark still hates us. Well, of course he does. We declared war on him. Let's try to make good with the Holy Roman Emperor so we can build more stuff along this coast. We're not going to declare war on him soon. Looks like Poland's actually at war with him again. Or something. Something happened. Poland broke off. Kind of a messy situation. France seems to have recovered. England has recovered. Interesting. Okay. All right, well, I think that's a pretty good spot to end the episode. Um, in the next, we will continue to solidify the inheritance, and then we're going to start continuing to convert this land and get it all lollard. I will not rest until we see a big, huge lollard here. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below if you want to get your name selected at some point in the future for some, some renaming. I'm going to probably have to go through the save files to do some, some save file hacking to get people's names in, but it could be fun. It would be an interesting way to do it. So, once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.